Hey guys, here we're going to go over the distributive property. So the question says, which expression is equivalent to 60 minus 3y minus 9? Well, this is not in its simplest form because we have 60 here and I have minus 9. I can combine those and I can write 60 minus 9 minus 3y. I can combine 60 minus 9 into 51 and I get 51 minus 3y. So this is already, I'm done with that. I'm going to focus on 51 minus 3y because that is much simpler to deal with. Okay, now let's see which of these are the same. Here I have 3 times 17 minus y. I'm going to use the distributive property here. Remember that 3 goes to both things in the parentheses, so that's 3 times 17y minus 3 times y. Oh, and it's not 3 times 17y, it's just 3 times 17. And that becomes 3 times 17. I can do some scrap work here. 3 times 7 is 21, and 3 times 1 is 1, uh, plus 2, that'll give me 51. So this simplifies into 51 minus 3 times y, that's 3y. So it looks like a works out, but let's check on the rest and see if they will work as well, because I already see that 51 minus 3y, that's the same as 51 minus 3y. All right, but let's see how the others are. Let's go with b. Do that over here in purple. I have 3 is going to get distributed to both of those, but not that thing outside. So uh, I will end up with, let's say, 3 times 20 minus 3 times y minus 3. And we end up with 60 minus 3y minus 3, but we can combine that 60 minus 3, that is 57 minus 3y. So that one doesn't work out. The 3y is good, but the 57 is not correct. Okay, so I'm just going to erase that and this over here. That one's no good. Let's move on to C, where I have 17 times 3 minus y. I'll distribute that 17 to each. I end up with 17 times 3 minus 17 times y. We already did the math that 17 times 3 is 51, but that's 51 minus 17y. 51 minus 17y is not the same as 51 minus 3y. I will cross that out. And now let's just check and see if d will give us the same answer. So d, we have 20, and then I'm distributing that to the 3 minus 3y, but I'm not distributing that to that minus 9, so I'll keep that after. I have 20 times 3 minus, I have 20 times 3y, and then I have that minus 9. 20 times 3, that is 60. 20 times 3y, that's 60y. I need that minus sign, and I have minus 9. The 60 and the minus 9, that gives us 51. We have 51 minus 60y. So what they're hoping you'll do there is you won't distribute that 20 to both things inside. But when you do, you'll see that you don't get 3y, you get 60y. And 51 minus 60y, that is not the same as 51 minus 3y. So the only answer that will work out here is A. That will give you an expression that is equivalent to 60 minus 3y minus 9. All right, thanks for watching, guys.